Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another beer review. And in this beer review, we're off to Lidl. Now, Lidl are trying to be clever. They're trying to enrol big name breweries to sell some of their beers on the shelf with fuck all ingredients in because that's what it feels like. It's what it feels like. Um, the salt one was absolutely terrible. We got Harbour one now, another session beer. And it is a session IPA called Big On Sesh. In other words, big on big on beer with fuck all in it. Four percent ABV, one pound seventy nine, I think it is. Brewed exclusively for little, in little colours. Um, Harbour Brewing. Previous beers I've had have been great. They have. They've been good. You know, pretty good, solid brewer. But. Lidl have come knocking on the door, wanting a beer with most probably nothing in it. So, and they're going to sell it for nothing and make a profit out of nothing. Um, aroma, resinous lime peach, it says. Flavour, pineapple, papaya, fresh. Uh, finishes clean, crisp and refreshing. According to the blurb on the side of the can. Let's get it in the... Get in the glass, see what it's all about. Apologies for the remnants of my previous beer in the glass. Um, but to be honest with you, the previous beer I reviewed tasted of nothing. So it's not going to make any difference if <laughs> to this beer, to be honest. But I could be blown away. I could be blown away by this beer. Right. Appearance. Dishwatery. Dishwater in appearance. Okay. Watered down dishwater. Actually, it looks a little bit cordial like in colour. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, a lemon bitterness there. So it's smelling bitter. Um, a, a hint of tropicalness, not much. Um, they say lime and peach. Ah. Not for me, it's, if it is, it's very, very faint. For me, maybe peach, but the lime, forget that. Um, so I'm gonna go in. Bish bash bosh, cheers. It just, again, you know, for me, the mouthfeel is more interesting than the taste. The mouthfeel, is, it's got a refreshing mouthfeel. It, it, it's, it's got a refreshing mouthfeel. It, it pulls at your mouth. It, it, it is a relatively clean feel on the on the on the tongue and the you know it's a relatively clean feel around the mouth the problem i have with beer like this is the flavor flavor is thin for me i tried to pack out the body of the beer with the carbonation because it is quite a bit of carbonation but it just feels a little bit watery. Watery, it feels like they've put nothing in it. It feels like they've maybe high gravity brewed it. Um, then thinning it out, they're, they're producing about, you know, two million cans out of one, <laughs> out of one brew. <laughs> it feels like it, it, it really does. Um, Watery, gassy, a little bit gassy, a little bit bland. It's again, it, it, who are they kidding? I think for me, they're just using the brewers' names. There's one more to try out of this stop. Didn't pick it up, but I will out of interest. That was the magic what one. Um, coming back to this, um, again, it's it's just it's just a name on a can. 
they're using a name on a can to try and sell a load of beer and for me you know the proof is in that not in that um it's not doing it not doing it boys and girls if you want a tasty beer avoid it oh, just avoid it it's it's all of these line of little beers um it's only the thornbridge one which is worth getting so far for me that harbour big on sesh thank you very much for watching this one forget that one um no point more going on about it see you on my next one bib bib